What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? Today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 17 using Palerain on Windows. So if you want to use this jailbreak, there's a few things you'll need. First up, you'll need a Palerain compatible iPad as not all iPads or iOS devices are supported with this. Compatible iPads are the iPad 6th generation, the iPad 7th generation, the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2nd generation, and the iPad Pro 10.5 inch. This jailbreak is based off a of boot ROM exploit, and the only devices that still have the ability to use this exploit are the compatible devices. You'll also need one USB flash drive with a minimum of 128 megabytes or more. This process will reformat and erase your flash drive, so make sure to back up anything that you need. Of course, since this is the Windows version of the tutorial, you'll also need one Windows computer. Please be very careful with this process as this could lead to issues with your Windows computer if not done correctly. I mentioned this a few times throughout this video, if you do this process wrong, it is potentially dangerous and you could lose all of your data on your computer. So before you go any further, it may be a good idea just to back up any files you have on your computer. If you have a Mac, I made a separate tutorial for installing Palerine 17 on Mac and you can find that video in the description or in the cards. The Mac version is much easier. And honestly, I would stay away from this unless you're an advanced user who knows how Windows works. If that's you, then go ahead and plug your flash drive into your computer, make sure to back up anything on it. This step is required if you want your computer to boot properly. Search for device encryption settings inside of system settings. Disable device encryption in settings under privacy and security. This will turn off BitLocker drive encryption and it's a big pain if you have it enabled, so make sure to turn it off. Go ahead and download Rufus. This program allows you to reformat your USB flash drive to boot into Palerain later. Download the latest version of Palnex. This is the bootable version of Palerain that we're going to use. Open Rufus and make sure your flash drive is plugged into your computer. Also, under device, make sure your flash drive is selected. Go to your downloads folder on your computer and find the Palinex file. Drag the Palinex file onto the Rufus window. Click start, select write in DD image mode. Make sure all data on your flash drive is backed up before going any further since this will erase it. Once you're ready, click OK. And now it'll go ahead and reformat the flash drive to include the Palnex file. Once it finishes, the flash drive should now be formatted with Palnex. Please be careful with the following steps. Do not do this unless you understand Windows and understand what you're doing. Shut your computer down and go into your BIOS settings. These are internal settings on your computer that you're about to change, so please be careful. It may be different for every computer. On a Microsoft Surface, hold down the volume up button and tap the power button once. Throughout the boot process, just keep holding down the volume up button and eventually it should boot into your BIOS settings. And here we go. Now we have all of this various different PC information, such as your computer's model number and various other different things. For this though, we wanna to go to security and under secure boot, we wanna change the configuration and disable secure boot. This is where things can get bad unless you're paying attention, so please pay attention. If you don't know what you're doing, changing things around in this menu is dangerous. After you're done using Palnex, make sure to re-enable secure boot before attempting to boot your computer as normal. Disabling secure boot is what will allow us to boot into the USB. When making this video, I got stuck because I didn't even know about BitLocker, which is a Windows security feature that's built in, since no videos or guides on Palinex mention this. Because of this, it prevented me from booting the computer normally. Each time I booted the computer up, no matter what I tried, it just kept going to preparing BitLocker recovery, and the only way out of this was completely wiping the computer and reinstalling Windows. Thankfully, when your computer is like this, you can use Palinex, but you can't do anything else with your computer, so obviously that's a big problem. This is why it's super important to only do this if you know what you're doing and turn off BitLocker before you attempt this. With that being said, as long as you did everything right, you can go ahead and reboot your computer. If you see this, make sure your flash drive is plugged in and select USB storage. Me, 
if you did everything right, it should now start to boot from the USB and we should see the PoundX script appear. And here we go. Plug your device into your computer. It's recommended that you use a USB-A to lightning cable as a USB-C to lightning cable has issues with DFU mode. Trust your computer on your iPad if you haven't before. Once it recognizes your iPad, it'll boot it into recovery mode. That's normal. From there, follow the directions on screen to put your device into DFU mode. After you put your device into DFU mode, it will start the jailbreak process. And there you go. Once you see this boot logo, you should be good to go. Now the device will boot up, and once it boots up and we put in our passcode, we should see the Powerain app. Go ahead and open the Powerain app that appears on the home screen. There's several options in the app, such as device information and actions. It can tell you what iOS version you're on and whether or not you actually have anything installed. You can also install package managers directly through the Powerain app, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So tap to install what package manager you want. I'm going to install Cilio first. It'll ask for a root password. The default password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, but you also can put in whatever password you want. Once the install is completed, you will see Cilio or Zebra on your iPad. I'm gonna go through and install Zebra as well. So it's gonna go through all the necessary steps and install it. And you can see Cilio and Zebra are now on my home screen. Now you can open up Cilio or Zebra and you can install any compatible tweak. Congratulations, you're now jailbroken on iOS 17 on an old iPad. If your device restarts, you'll have to run the script again on your computer to go back into a jailbroken state. If you want a list of free compatible tweaks, check out my top 15 awesome Palerain iOS 17 tweaks video, which I'll have up in the cards or linked down below in the description. But anyway guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.